Yesterday we mentioned that the yurt side of Avisov Sev Gusman Zichron Livracha, and someone came into Shir and mentioned that it was by a, uh, a beautiful a yurt side Suda for the old Tashavarav, that means the Tashavarav's grandfather, Zichron Livracha. And, uh, and of course, there he said there was quite a few tables, and of course, more than just herring and some schnapps. And I think that it's very, very interesting. That if you look in Avoida Savoida, the incredible safer from the Tasha Rebbe Zichon Vacha, the recent Tasha Rebbe. So when he describes his grandfather, he says the following This is an unusual Maisa, Chasidisha Maisa. Because he writes that his grandfather was known as an incredible Masmid, so careful to take advantage of every every moment of learning. In fact, during the week he wasn't Misakin, he didn't fix souls only on Shabbos. But he writes the Tasha Rebbe, this Past Hashem Rabbi Zichon says that his grandfather lived in Hungary, and usually on a yurt site. So first of all, he describes a lot of interesting things. You know, usually people ask me, what, what do you do on a yurt site? What should we focus on? What's the main theme? So he writes the following. He says, on a yurt site, the neshama of that tzaddik comes down, comes down to this earth. And very much, he describes it in a very vivid manner, that the neshama comes and is allowed to look at what's going on, and if a person is connecting and tries to emulate that neshama, so then there's schusim, there's merits for that tzaddik to be able to, obviously through the Rabbeinu Shalom, orchestrate things and the benefit of the people that are connecting to him. Incredible things that happen on the yurt side, and that's what that's what a person should try to be mechaven is to try to pick something to emulate from that neshama that they are now commemorating. But then he says the following, he says that his grandfather lived in Hungary and really it would be the right thing to do, like many times is done, especially today, is to take the whole, all the Hasidim and travel, go to Hungary, go to the, the caver and pray there. He says, but how can I? Here my grandfather was so careful about every moment of studying and learning Torah. So the right thing for me now is how can it be that I'm going to take my Hasidim travel and you know what it means to travel and then the planes and this and that and finally when we get there, he says the right thing to do is to stay here and make sure that there's no bit of Torah and study Torah. And that's what he did. So he didn't, he didn't travel and, uh, for, the, for his grandfather's year, his year outside. I found that very impressive. And I said, it's interesting that in the same day, as of course Rabbi Saul Guzman, who was an incredible masmid, besides his goyness, his geniusness, you know, it's interesting that when he came to El Tisol after the war, so he went to visit the Chabina Rab, Chabina Rav, was also a go and atzim. So he came to Chibin Rav and he told, and the Rav asked, "What's your name?" He said, "Gusman." So he thought, "Gusman, ah, I remember. You, I heard about your father. Your father was on the Chaim Oizel's based in." So he saw Zev Gusman, who, because he was so young, he looked so young even then. He was on the based in when he was twenty years old. He said, "Actually, it's, it's it was me." So the Chibin Rav got up and he made a bracha. He made the bracha that is stated is listed in the halachas of brachas in the Reish Chav Dalad, that a person is supposed to say when you see a chacham Yisrael, a wise, a very great Talmud chacham from amongst the Jewish people, you say, Bo chato Hashem elokeinu melech oilam shecholak mechokmosoy li yirei of. That means that a person is recognizing that there's a wise man here. And that the Rebbein Shem was cholak. Why is it cholak? Because he gave a portion, because a tzaddik, not just a tzaddik, Every one of us is a chilek elokim. We're part of the Rebbe Nisham in some way. And Nisham is part of the Rebbe Nisham. And the more we study, and the more we're, we're, more, we're tapping into the wisdom of the Rebbe Nisham, that's how, how much more we're more chilek elokim. And Lireyav, why does it say Lireyav? So that also is a very important thing because there's a lot of geniuses. There's a lot of people that know a lot and could tell you Shas maybe and could tell you all the Kabbalah. But it has to be Chochmasoy of Yiras Hashem, He Choch Masoy. True wisdom. If you want to decide who's a Talmud Chacham, who's a real Talmud Chacham, you can make a bracha. Someone that has Yiras Shemaim. You can see his God fearing. You could see it in his midos. And it's interesting to note that the, the, the Shevet Halevi, Dain Vozna Zechon Vacha, points out that this bracha said recited today too. Many times people go to Reb Chaim Kanievsky, a guy that mamish Talmud Chacham that knows Kol Kul and has Yiras Shemaim. We get a little bit overwhelmed. We forget there's an opportunity to make this bracha on Chaim Kanievsky. But I wanted to get back. I think what we could take 
is from the yesterday's Ziyar Tzad, which really many times continues three days, but then the, and then the Shama comes down, there's three different Bechinas of the Neshama down here on earth, is the Ash, is what we can take as both of Guzman Zichon and the Tasha of the old Tasha Rebbe, Zichon Zichon and Livrach, appreciate what every moment of learning miss. And now, right now, is Erev Yom Kippur. What does it mean, Erev Yom Kippur? Yom Kippur Katan, it's Erev Rosh Chodesh, it's a time of Tshuva. Tammuz is Rosh Tevas. Zmane Tshuva Memash Meshim Uboim. We're a hundred days away from Yom Kippur. And how do we connect to the Rabbi Hashem, the best, what's the best tshuva? Hashiveinu avinu l'seru secho. So it's Kedai right now. A person should decide. I'm going to study more. Whether it's a lady could study more about the Tehillim and even Pirkei Ovas and try to get all the laws that apply to them and really know it. And uh, a man should be able to make sure that his Siddharam are serious. It's an hour in the morning, an hour at night, or whatever the ability of a person is to really tap in and connect to the Rabbi Hashem. Hagudun Chodesh.